Good morning everyone. Just going over again my Mocha setup since I had switched over to fiber. My original setup video did entail me having the um, Spectrum cable internet. Uh, this is where the modem actually hooked up, right here where it says TV. We don't need that anymore, so we get rid of that. We still have the coax from the Mocha device going into the coax network in my home. As you can see, we're lit up with uh, active LAN. The Mocha's connected. We have the power. And we've got the, uh, the fiber box, the TVS fiber box, tiny little thing. And that goes into my D-Link router. It's my Wi-Fi router. Then we have a gigabit connection from the router going into a small Belkin gig router, uh, excuse me, gig switch. And then we have a connection going from the gig switch going into the Mocha device. So that's how we're currently set up. Everything's working. I have had a couple of questions on, well, how do I access the setup screen in the Go Coax device? My next video that I hope to post this weekend will entail how to set it up on a static IP. I'm going to do that from my... Uh, my uh, Windows tablet device on a direct connection to the Go Coax box. So I'll get that set up. I'll show you what the web-based interface looks like and if you want to make any changes. At the end of this video, right after we get done talking about the setup, I'm going to do a couple of tests, one of which is a large 12 gigabyte file transfer and the other one is streaming a 4K GTA 5 session from an upstairs computer to a downstairs computer over the uh, Mocha LAN connection. So hang tight folks, thanks. Streaming GTA 5 from my upstairs gaming computer to my downstairs studio computer. The downstairs computer does not have a, uh, a current gaming video card. We're getting approximately 50 to 60 frames per second of 4K over the network with the Mocha devices. And we're using about 25 megabits of bandwidth. Um, the actual play is actually much smoother than it looks due to the recording. Uh, we've got some frames stuttering on the recording. Next, we'll do the file transfer. Transfer really this... from my upstairs desktop to my downstairs studio computer over the Mocha network. So we've got, in theory, a gigabit LAN connection. We did do some initial testing on my previous video with the TDS fiber connection, showing that we actually did have full bandwidth. This just kind of gives you an idea of how quickly we can move 12 gigabytes of data from one computer to another. As you see, we went from a baseline of about zero internet activity, or I should say LAN activity, up to pretty much what we're going to get in a maximum on a gigabit Ethernet connection, which is approximately 979, 980, 82 megabits per second. That's about as fast as it gets. So we pretty much topped it out. You know, there is some hardware overhead, software overhead. And um, I'm going to run it through the whole transfer just so you can get a feel for how long it does or doesn't take to do this. Now imagine you were sticking that 12 gigabyte file on a thumb drive, copying it, walking it downstairs, copying it to the other computer. This is just so much better. Well, there we have it, just about there. I think we can all agree uh, this is a lot faster. We probably wouldn't have even had the file copied over to the thumb drive initially. So go ahead and end this, and I thank you for uh, your watching.